Hi guys, what's up? It's Rose Ent here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on the way to getting my hair transformed and I've called an Uber, so I'm going to walk towards it now. So I just got out of the Uber and I'm trying to find the hair salon. Um, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Anyway, the point of me doing my hair is for a hair modeling competition. It's going to be quite a transformation. Let's just say there's a lot of hair going to be chopped off. So a lot. I'm at the salon and I'm going to have my hair cut very soon. But we're going to take pictures of me before. And he's just setting up the lighting. Yeah, very exciting. Bye bye her. See you next time. I see you. I'm glad we both like <laughs> Japanese culture and style. Yes. <laughs> I used to work in Japanese hair salon. Really? Yes, in London. Oh. From the back bleach. Yeah. This is black. Mm. So your hair is a darkest brown. Yeah. I need to go here. Mm. So which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels. I get this level. Mm. Then, then I'm gonna make this color. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I should have bought my tripod <laughs> and just leave it every angle. <laughs> it's all covered in foil now. Just gonna wait. I think this is the look, guys. I look like an entire dustbin, and I'm feeling it. Food is here. We waited like two hours. <laughs> Colour blended in really well. Hello. Done for now. Put some red underneath. Packing some goodies. My hair. Lovely. So I'm on the way to the hair salon. I'm gonna go for my final day of doing my hair. Practically, it's the second day since I'm still doing my hair tomorrow. I literally just almost ran myself over when I was just crossing the road talking to you guys. Now I'm like kind of in the neighborhood of Knightsbridge, as you can tell from the nice buildings. So the plan is to cut my hair a bit more shorter and then I think I'm gonna do some red highlights as well. I just uh, told me to uh, change my nails to like red and white. So here it is. Shades on. Nice fit. However, I forgot to put on jewelry because I was in a rush. This time I'm paying attention to crossing the road because I don't want to die from a taxi. Imagine dying from a taxi, that'd be so sad. Screw. Oh. Oh. My nails even match. Wow. I look like a dragon, guys. <laughs> There's a lot of these towels that just like plain things. Like mushroom and that. Would you like collagen shot? Manuka and Jensen extra. Oh my god, my mom would love this. Sunshine is bright. You know how I feel. Okay, we're finally on the Uber. She's doing a quick makeup fresh. I can't do that. What are you good at? Like eating and sleeping. Okay, and what are you not good at? Everything. Having lunch at Cafe Nero now, guys. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. These hills are so high. Oh, 
motto. I cannot <laughs> get stuck. But stop. <laughs> you can tell so much work to put into this. The thing is, not dropping, but same level. Oh, this vlogger, how dare she be without a phone, but just you don't need nothing when you have this amazing, beautiful face. Oh. You deserve all the flatter. <laughs> just finished catwalking, being judged. Being judged, look at her, goddess, goddess, nobody can judge. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got changed out of my age sort of outfit. Now I'm gonna take off my makeup because I'm gonna give kids nightmares if I leave this on. The contest that we were in, it's for the L'Oreal Color Specialist category. And our concept is purple skies, purple sunset. In the mood board, like the cut is really Japanese and straight. And like with the fringe here and like long out here. He added texture because of the clouds for the purple skies but he forgot to mention that. I think I bleached my whole head basically twice and originally we wanted to go like platinum blonde however my hair would have been absolutely fried. So um, we left that idea after we dyed it twice. The next few days I went over to his salon once again and decided that like you know it was a bit patchy so he wanted to dye over it like some red highlights. So I'm not doing more pinky rather than, you know, red. And even my friends that saw me after was like, oh, you dyed it pink. And I was like, no, it's meant to be purple. So then the next day we went over it in purple. I wasn't really feeling the purple just because it seemed very, very dark, like almost like a midnight um, blue sky. So it was more bluey than purple. My hairstylist didn't realize was that they initially had to put toner in the hair or a color in the hair and then cut. He already was done with the color process so he was just planning to just cut my hair. They came over and they were like, you've got to, you know, put some L'Oreal during the competition. Otherwise you won't be qualified to be seen. So we kind of did that last minute. He put purple on the top of my roots, um, not going downwards, just just on top to refresh it. But I'm in love with the lilac. For me to cut it so short was the biggest fear for me. Like it took a lot of bravery for me to be like, yes, I'm willing to have my hair cut and styled and coloured, whatever you'd like. I'm willing to be a mannequin. Like, obviously. It's great to have experience, which is why I agreed to it. But like for the long run, it'll be hard for me to like get castings and stuff because my hair is so crazy and out there. So that's what I was worried about. And also guys, the dress I was wearing is really, really sexy. Way out of my comfort zone. And I had to like catwalk in it and have my photos taken. It was such an experience. I wasn't as nervous as I thought I'd be. Like, yeah. Hello. 